Hello, today we're going to talk about the Paris Agreement. Climate change, one of the most pressing issues of today's society. Never before have we released as much greenhouse gas emissions as we do currently. This is why in 2015, leaders of 180 countries sat down together to reach an accord on how to tackle climate change. But what exactly is the Paris Agreement? What are its aims and its effects? The Paris Agreement brought all nations together to undertake ambitious efforts to reduce carbon emissions and to do the best to keep global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius, ideally below 1.5 degrees Celsius. In addition, the agreement suggested enhanced support to assist developing countries to do so too. The adaption to the effects of climate change were discussed as well. The Paris Agreement was held in Paris, in France, and entered into force on 4th November of 2016. It was an improvement and replacement of the Kyoto Protocol from 2005, an earlier international treaty. What are the aims of the Paris Agreement? The central aim is to strengthen the global response to climate change in order to keep global temperature rise this century below 2 degrees Celsius, preferably below 1.5 degrees Celsius, above pre-industrial levels. But what are pre-industrial levels? Pre-industrial is the time before the industrial revolution in the 19th century. Since then, the amount of CO2 and greenhouse gases massively increased which leads to more and more global temperature rise. The parties agreed on ways of how to achieve the aim of keeping global temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius. At first, the amount of greenhouse gas emissions has to be reduced in a manner that does not threaten food production. These climate actions should be carried out by each country individually in so-called NDCs, which should be communicated and improved in a five-year cycle. The Paris Agreement includes a framework for countries who need support in financial, technical and capacity building in order to maintain the agreement. These financial aids will be provided by industrial countries in the amount of 100 billion US dollars from 2020 on. The Paris Agreement also concentrates on the ability of adapting to climatic conditions and impacts in the future for example in form of dikes and heat-proof motorways. The Paris Agreement is overall communicated as the beginning of slowing down and stopping climate change with further plans following in the future. So far effects of the Paris Agreement on the environment. If we look at the last five years, leaving out 2020 because this was a year under different circumstances, we notice that the Paris Agreement has not yet made a difference in climate change. As you can see in this statistic, the temperature has kept on rising. The last five years have even been the hottest ever recorded. In this statistic, you can see how our greenhouse gas emissions keep on rising as they have for the last decades, and this has not changed over the past years. And the same rise can still be seen with the sea level, which keeps on rising with a rate of 3.3 mm per year. Even though these statistics do not speak for the Paris Agreement, it must be taken under consideration that the Paris Agreement is still very young and that most of the goals listed in it are long-term goals. Therefore, the effect of the agreement will only be seen in a couple of years. The Paris Agreement was adopted by 196 parties all over the globe. On the 1st June 2017, US President Donald Trump announced that the US would exit the Paris Agreement because it's unfair. On the 5th of November 2020, the US officially left the Paris Agreement. On the same day, Joe Biden tweeted, Today, the Trump administration officially left the Paris Climate Agreement and in exactly 77 days, the Biden administration will rejoin it. Biden also proposed a 1.7 trillion US dollar plan to take the US to net zero by 2050. A lot of politicians have been praising the Paris Agreement, stating how promising its goals are. 
which is why we must ask ourselves whether the agreement really is enough to make a difference in climate change. Well, yes, the goals listed in the Paris Agreement are all very well, because of course it would be amazing if we could keep global warming below 2 degrees Celsius, and of course we have to minimize greenhouse gas emissions as quickly as possible. But the problems of the Paris Agreement are not the goals themselves, but the lack of plans and actions taken to meet them. Studies show that if we continue to fight climate change like we are fighting it right now, global warming will be at 2.8 degrees Celsius by the end of the century, which is way above our goal to maybe even keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. What we need at the moment are not goals, but binding enforcement mechanisms, such as plans and climate policy aims for individual countries, so that the goals of the Paris Agreement can be maintained at all. In Germany, for example, critics like Fridays for Future say that the current climate policy isn't enough. Fridays for Future state that it is not enough to work for a coal exit by 2038, but the coal exit should be by 2030. Fridays for Future also demand 100% renewable energy by 2035 and not just by 2050. They want to achieve the net zero by 2035. Merkel recently stated that Germany knows that they need to do more if they want to achieve their own goals, but she also promises to still be committed to those goals. What can you do in order to solve this problem? Well, for once, of course, you yourself have to act in order to protect the climate. But the problem that we have been explaining today is not the problem of individuals not doing enough, but it is individual countries that aren't acting appropriately. So the only thing you can really do is keep on raising awareness, by demonstrating for example, so that the government will notice us and start to rethink or change their climate policies. Well. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you want to know more about climate change and what you can do, visit www.voicesofyouth.org slash climate dash action.